push to get Portland Street Response, that team up and running. That's the program that's supposed to break the pattern of sending armed police officers to calls that involved homelessness and mental health issues. Instead, EMTs and crisis counselors would go. Now, this is the, the program that's been this big, tangible beacon of hope for the city. When people have been calling for reform, this is the program that the city officials are holding up and saying, look, we're doing it, especially since they signed off on it about a year ago and have put millions of dollars towards it. They were ahead of the game, but there's a problem and uh, it's not a reality yet. This uh, this program and now we're hearing it might not be until 2021. Here's Maggie Vespa. Portland Street Response, based off a decades old Eugene program called Cahoots, has been talked about for years. The idea have city funded EMTs and crisis counselors on hand to respond to 911 calls involving homelessness, mental health crises and general social service needs. <laughs> Supporters argue such a team is better equipped to handle those types of calls and it frees up police to deal with actual crimes. It's a popular idea, so popular that last year the city set aside half a million dollars to hire and train one team and get the program off the ground. The plan was to launch in March of 2020. The pandemic derailed that. Last month, amid protests and calls to defund police and implement better community policing strategies, the city council recommitted to street response. In their budget for the new fiscal year, they set aside nearly $5 million. We were told the program could be up and running by fall. There are greater changes needed in terms of criminal justice system as a whole. Today, at a meeting hosted by Portland Fire and Rescue, an update. The timeline has been pushed back. Yeah, we're probably looking at an early start, start date in February. In short, staff say the hiring process for a position never held by anyone with the city before is going to take longer than planned. Um, that's going to take about four to five months for us to do the market research to really thoroughly understand what is entailed with that. Of course, the training will also entail um, you know, de-escalation techniques and managing aggressive behavior and also culture sensitivity. The update came at a meeting with Senator Ron Wyden, who's supporting national legislation tied to police reform. Things like requiring body cameras and setting up a mandatory reporting system for police fired for misconduct. For the senator, establishing first response systems that cater to people with mental illness is personal. And my brother suffered from schizophrenia and he was on the street every night for years on end and not a night went by when the Wyden family didn't think he'd hurt himself or somebody else. Right now, Portland has one paramedic assigned to the street response team. His name is Tremaine Clayton, and he's eager to bring this model from Eugene to Portland. It's super impactful and empowering to be able to um, look at a model um, that has been working and then recreate that here in our city. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.